In this second tutorial, we'll go into all the features in the line mode. In lines mode, when we create a line, if we highlight it, we can then change all the characteristics of that line. For example, we can put in an exact length. Hitting return will cause the length line to adjust. The angle, the highlighted line or lines can have their lines types changed to dashed or solid. The width of the line changed. The end type of the lines. And lastly, the color. Also, if we have one or multiple lines, we can offset those lines by hitting translate. We can now specify the direction and the offset. Offsetting will actually translate those lines. Duplicate will cause a duplicate set of lines offset at the exact distance. If we have a closed ser series of lines, we can calculate, we can fill those lines with color simply by selecting the lines in order around the perimeter. The fill will automatically be displayed. We can change the brightness, transparency, or select the pattern. Simply hitting update cause the item to be filled. Also, if we wish to calculate an area, all we have to do is, again, select the lines around the perimeter in order, tap the screen to close out the fill, and hit Calculate. We can now select the perimeter by length, or the area, and hit Calculate, and those values will be calculated. Lastly, it's very handy to be able to calculate midpoints, and simply by hitting Segments, 2, and Divide, it'll calculate a midpoint of a given line, or if we put in multiple segments, the appropriate value. If we have a line, and we just have a single one selected, we'll notice that there's a guideline of line type. Selecting that will actually create a guideline exactly on top of the existing line stretching from infinity in both directions. It's possible to create a point at the intersection of two lines by selecting both lines and hitting points. This not only creates a point at the intersection, but actually breaks those lines, so it's very easy to trim the endpoints by double tapping. There is a problem with this algorithm, however, and the line should only be broken in one location at one, in one instance. So for example, if we select these three lines and hit points, we'll notice the line that is intersected in two places is only correctly broken once.